Hi there, Gayla Scrivener here. And in today's Gear Up tip, I'm going to show you how to change the recording settings for your Zoom recording. And this is what I recommend if you're going to be using Zoom to record podcast interviews. I recommend that you record in separate channels so that you and the other individuals that you're interviewing, all their sounds are in separate channels. The reason why is because if there is background noise on the on your interviewee side, then your editor, your podcast editor can block that out better when there are separate channels. If it's all one channel, then you can't block out, like say a, a barking dog or, or something like that. So here real quick, and this only happens when you record on your desktop with Zoom. So my recommendation is to go ahead and download the app for your laptop and go in to settings and then under recording, make sure that you record a separate audio file for each participant who speaks and make sure that that's checked. This is also where you can tell the computer after you're done recording, then where does the recording go? What happens after the recording? You're going to get the date and the time of, of the recording and the name of the meeting. And typically, you will get a video, a playback, and then an audio only. And this audio only is an MP3. And that is with everybody that is on the call. That's their audio. If you click here, you will see that you have two different channels. And it's very important to make sure that both individuals are on the call at the same time before you hit record. Let's say you're the interviewer and you think, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit record so I don't forget. Don't do that because then your audio is going to be longer than your interviewee. And it's super important to have the audios the same length. So be sure to hit record when everybody in your podcast interview is on the call. If you record up on the web, you don't have the option of doing the separate audio. So when using Zoom, for your podcast interviews, it's my recommendation to go ahead and record in separate channels so that your podcast editor has more flexibility of making a good, clean cut of, of your podcast and making it sound super professional. Well, thanks for joining me for more Gear Up tips. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and visit us at scrivenersolutions.com. Thanks.